Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anyone that has led to uh, watch this video, and it's about the great blackout that is, is coming. And one of the things that I want to say right off the bat, this is something for God's people not to fear, because this is something that he is doing, and it is uh, geared uh, kind of to really shake up these uh, rich people, these elites, these these criminals that are interfering with what God has planned for his people and for all peoples around the world, every nation, every tongue. And uh, I will share this now because I've been hearing a lot of these things about uh, this blackout and stuff, and I was never really released to share what God has given me until this morning. And I had had this dream way back uh, you know, months ago, December the 21st of 2021. And he's really released me to share this and really impressed upon me strongly to share this this morning. So I'll just give you what God has given me. I could see a group of very well-to-do people. They were partying things up all the time, morning, noon, and night. But they were just keeping it all for themselves. And even when they saw the needs of others that were having a hard time, you know, with their finances and with their health, they wouldn't help them. Then there was a kind of a shaking, like a, a blackout of power. Everyone was stopped from what they were doing. It was nighttime and they own, the only thing they were concerned with was not being able to just see where their drink was and cell phones were. There, there was jewelry and valuables all throughout this house, in the beds, the sofas, in each and every room, etc. They couldn't get to money, so they were going to hawk their jewelry, but God hid them. Get this, God hid them. There were a pair of earrings in particular that were hidden from their sight, so they couldn't sell them to keep partying because this was all they were concerned about was doing what they wanted to do. They weren't concerned about other people's power outages, just how they could get back to what they were doing. There was an outlet as well that you could see that you could charge your phone from that was just hidden in a case and, and uh, behind uh, this spot in a wall. But this was hidden from them as well. I, God, this is something that God has said. I, God, was not to make this known so that they could actually charge their cell phone or anything. That was hidden from them as well. And everyone was screaming orders at each other in the dark. Now they had turned on each other. And so they were just having a fit. And this was uh, one part of the dream. And then there was very fancy gold material, which was draped over furniture that would have been expensive. I hid the earrings in this material. I, God, have hidden this. And the earrings were green with gold trim. I was shown that later... This was uh, what God was uh, showing me now. So I, Marilyn, was shown later that they had access, but not until they had learned their lesson and wake up of their waywardness. This is very significant because in this, God has shown that he was showing that it was these people, these elites, these people that are holding back what he has planned for his people. They're holding things at bay through criminal activity and until they learn their lesson. This is something that's going to shake them awake in the, until they learn their lesson. So this other part here says, then, <clears throat> then this is the, what God has shown me. Then I, Marilyn, was shown a black dog like a Doberman chained up. He was being trained where he could do his business and where not to do the business. So the dog represents this evil, corrupt stuff that's going on that the enemy has backed because these people are being used. 
these powerful elites and world leaders and stuff, they are being used by the enemy because their eye, they, these people's eyes, they're blinded to what they're doing. They're, they're just doing their own thing. They're not doing what God wants to do them to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so they, they are just, you know, going about their, their demonic uh, things. And so this other part here says, but I was very, it was very clear that I was shown not to focus on what the dog was up to. The dog was no danger to me. I was shown that his restraint of influence, and I was not the trainer or the owner of this dog. And I was nudged again, and I know this was by God. I was nudged to get away then strongly and to not focus on this and then I woke up and so all I'm saying is right now people this may be scary when this really comes about this power outage this blackout I have no idea how far range that that is going to reach because I was not shown that but all I was shown was not to focus on the blackout not to focus on what the enemy is doing which the dog represents because when we see bad things in the world happening, we get in fear and we're like, oh my gosh, what do I do now? You know, and it's just to really focus on that God is working on the situation with these people. He's got to do something to shake them up. And when you have power outages with all their, you know, these people with their monies and stuff, and they're always looking for the internet and how they can get... Uh, their hands on the money. They have uh, vaults and, and safes and stuff. And that was one of the things that was in the dream too, was behind this this um, wall or whatever, there was a safe. But they couldn't get into the safe either because there were combinations and stuff, but they were locked. They couldn't get into it. So how, yes, why would this not shake these people up? Because they themselves did not have access anymore to their you know, ways of being provided and stuff. And it doesn't matter where they have these hiding places and whatnot. There are still things that they're not going to be able to get to because unless we're shaken up a lot of times, we will not pay attention to everything else that's going on around us because it's never about us. It's never just about us. We can very easily get caught up in our own little bubble of what's going on in our own lives but life is never just about us. God is always trying to draw us to something greater. And these are the days when God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh, all nations of this world. So I really hope that this encourages you today. Don't concentrate. Like I said, if you, whoever sees this or hears this video, just concentrate on you will get through the blackout. There's only a time frame for that. So be blessed today, my fellow believers, and uh, just have a blessed day. Thank you.